Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerSportsBetting.com. Look us up on Roku or in the sports section, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Big development for gamblers in week one of the National Football League. We've now seen Chip Kelly's offense with the Philadelphia Eagles. It's revolutionary. This is outside the box, right? It may well have a lasting impact on the NFL, right? The way I view it is that the rest of the league is going to have to adjust to what the Eagles are doing. And in the short term, they won't be able to because you cannot replicate what the Eagles are doing in practice, right? They're getting in a whole host of plays in a short period of time. And yesterday, their opponent, the Washington Redskins, looked woefully unprepared and unable to adapt, right? Now, betters know that the casinos offer you far more options than just picking the winner in particular. At casinos, they will offer you halftime bets. In other words, you can take a team simply to win the first half. Well, that's the half that the Philadelphia Eagles are going to be most successful in. Because that's when they're going to catch an opponent unprepared. That's when an opponent won't be able to make adjustments right and won't have the benefit of the coaching staff breaking down film at halftime so going forward i believe it's a great play for gamblers for at least the next two weeks to take the philadelphia eagles in the first halves of their games right let's talk about it understand yesterday in the first half, wide receiver Deshaun Jackson had over 100 receiving yards, right? He was wide open, folks, on plays. In other words, Washington literally didn't know whether to turn left or turn right. These are structural problems. Deshaun McCoy ran for over 100 rushing yards in the first half. In other words, the Redskins, a playoff team from last year, did not succeed in stopping either the pass or the run. Right? Redskin players look slow to get back to the line of scrimmage. A lot of McCoy's runs were just right up the middle, right behind the center. The way they have the offense constructed, the defense couldn't figure out who had the ball. McCoy or Michael Vick, right? Vick in the first half was doing whatever he wanted, right? Even with a fluke touchdown by the Washington Redskins scored by defensive back D'Angelo Hall on a pass behind the line of scrimmage that he was able to pick up. Even with that, Philadelphia completely dominated the first half of the game. Now next week, think about it. They play the San Diego Chargers at home, right, in Philly. Now, the Chargers just played one of the late games, in fact, the late game on Monday night in San Diego. It's awfully hard for West Coast teams in the Pacific time zone to travel to the East Coast and to adjust to the East Coast game, right? San Diego already is going to be suffering from jet lag. They're going to hop off the plane, and then they're going to be dealing with an offense that literally is running more plays in the first half than almost any team has for several years, right? Philadelphia in the first half, against the San Diego Chargers, to me, 
looks like a layup betting wise in the second half Washington yesterday did make adjustments right there are ways to slow down the Philadelphia Eagles but in the first half that's almost impossible understand Michael Vick claims that Philadelphia has only unveiled 60 percent of its offense let me point out too that the week after next week Philadelphia plays another home game keep in mind yesterday's game was on the road and that home game is gonna be against the Kansas City Chiefs now the Kansas City Chiefs and I understand they're coached by Andy Reid Philadelphia's former coach it's gonna be an emotional game but the Kansas City Chiefs aren't built to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the football equivalent of the Los Angeles Lakers Showtime from the 1980s right the Chiefs are a methodical team in which you know Jamal Charles gets a lot of carries averages more than five yards a carry and uh, Alex Smith is really more of a game manager than a gunslinger so to me I believe Philadelphia is a pretty good bet to win the first half of the game that's scheduled for September 19 let's jump forward oh let me also point out the obvious too that Kansas City game is actually gonna be a Thursday night game what does that mean it means that Kansas City is only gonna have a short window of time just a few days to prepare for this Philadelphia fast break offense there's no way they're gonna be able to do it right I like Philadelphia in the first half of that Kansas City game now here's where it gets interesting the very next game Philadelphia travels to Denver it's an open question on whether a team can get off as many plays as Philadelphia wants to get off without hitting the wall in the high altitude air of Denver in any event that first half over in the Philadelphia Denver game looks like a layup to me Denver has a very high-powered passing attack Philadelphia secondary is reconstructed this year I don't think Denver will be able to stop Philadelphia in the first half I don't think Philadelphia will be able to stop Denver in the first half I like the over in the first half on that Philadelphia Denver game three weeks from now we could stretch it out further but I believe you wanna just deal in three week horizons because too much can happen during that period of time injuries and things like that but just know right now and it's September the 10th 2013 Philadelphia in the first half of games on the first half props being offered by casinos is an awfully compelling bet certainly for the September 15th game at home against the San Diego Chargers and the September 19th Thursday night game at home against the Kansas City Chiefs I also like the over in the first half for both teams for the September 29th game Philadelphia at Denver let me know what you think if you have gambling advice let's make this a forum for gamblers please leave your comments in the comment section to this video let's try to beat the casino thanks for stopping by